everyone. I wanted to get on and make a quick video to show you a new feature that I've added to the map. Um, so we'll dive right in. If you get to the website bigfootmap.com and click on view full screen map on a desktop is where you're going to get the best use um, and the most detail and work with the web app the easiest. So uh, once we're in the web app, we're going to shift and click and drag to draw a box around the area of interest where we'd like to work. So you don't have to use these zoom in tools. The shift and click and drag is my favorite way to get around a map. Um, we're going to zoom into this part of Florida here. And now I'd like to show you some of the base map features we've got. We've got a lot. Um, some which may or may not be useful. Uh, I don't know how much use you're going to get out of the colored pencil map, but if that's your preference, by all means, please use it. It is available. Um, but there are a lot of other maps that we can look at. For example, we've got um, a community map, which uh, is pretty interesting. It looks like it highlights public areas and state parks and um, a bit more human geography oriented, which could be very useful uh, when you're looking at how Bigfoot and people interface. Another map that we've got here is my favorite, the USA topo map. These are actually scanned topo maps at a few extents, so they might look a little busy uh, pretty when you're zoomed out pretty far, but they have a lot of detail. So if we go ahead and zoom in using the new trick we just learned, you'll see that the detail gets better as you zoom in. So you can identify a lot more about the landscape and terrain where these sightings are. So you can see that there's wetlands here, the Black Creek runs through here. You can um, learn a bit more about what the facilities are and the outline, uh, things you might not be able to discern from the aerial imagery that's a uh, default setting on the map. I, I thought adding these options would make using the web app to uh, get information and learn more about, you know, uh, where people see Bigfoot, what's around the area, uh, elevation, vegetation, um, the base map seems to serve that purpose better. So I added it to the web app. Um, you can see here, there's a lot of detail. Now, I don't know the extent that you can zoom into. If there's coverage, it looks like it disappears when you get to a certain extent. So you have to go ahead and zoom back out. But you can zoom in pretty tight here. And that's uh, a good extent. It doesn't look like you're going to lose a lot of detail. So um, you can really start to understand what the area looks like where people see these Bigfoot a little bit more than you might if you were just looking at an aerial photo. But the aerial photos are good for a lot of other reasons. So now you have access to all of the above. Uh, then if you want to understand more about maybe historical information or roads and streets and um, terrain, we've got Another human geography map. This one's interesting. So here you can see roads and neighborhoods in a simplified version. And then if you really want to get back to our standard imagery, we use the imagery hybrid as our default map here. And you'll see that this is pretty high quality <clears throat> uh, aerial imagery nationwide worldwide really so you can zoom out and there you are that's our base map base map functionality and we've also uh, I don't know if you noticed but I didn't highlight it if you zoom in we now have new symbology as well it's uh, Bigfoot so I noticed that the points were kind of disappearing and getting overrun by the background of the map so I went ahead and made a new symbol and uh, you can click on it, treat it just like a regular symbol, but you definitely know you're looking for Bigfoot when you zoom in pretty far. So 
hopefully you get a lot of use out of the base map gallery which again is up here and there's 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 different base maps that you can now access uh, in a map again not all of them are going to be necessarily helpful for our purposes but uh, they're there and I hope you get a lot of use out of them we'll go back to the default extent uh, one other thing I want to say is if you've submitted your sightings thank you very much we've got a lot of sightings in the time that the web the website has been live um, you'll see a lot of new red dots popping up a lot of great stories a lot of great reports a lot of good information and uh, on a really positive note, we've uh, just written a technical paper that will hopefully be published in the Relic Hominoid Inquiry by Dr. Jeff Meldrum out of Idaho State University. So as we get more details about that, I'll keep you guys updated, but it's very exciting. And um, I want to say thank you. It wouldn't be possible without your reports. So keep, keep getting them in. And uh, let's keep looking for Bigfoot. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.